Hi everyone, I'm Bradley Schlagheck, one of QC Design School's graduates, student ambassador, and professional organizer and interior decorator. I started my business, Bradley Ryan Home Organization, in New York City in 2019, and I specialize in professional organization and decor, with an emphasis on how order, function, and style can change you and the way you live. In this video, I'll be discussing the significance of professional organizing, why you should be properly trained as one, and I'll reveal my top tips and hacks for organizing your client's living space. To start off, let's talk about the importance of professional organizing. First, a professional organizer is someone who can help individuals find function and order in their spaces by organizing, decluttering, and forming systems to help maintain them. A professional organizer uses their knowledge and experience, along with different organizing principles, to create spaces to allow someone to live and work more efficiently. They can work with anyone or any business to organize and more importantly, maintain a space. They need to have great people skills, the ability to think on their feet and have great problem solving skills. In my opinion, having an organized living space can help improve someone's quality of life. When your home is cluttered, your life is imbalanced. An organized space can help improve your mood, your well-being, your productivity and your stress levels. This is why professional organizers play a giant role in their clients' lives. They have the ability to help, not only transform their space, but their life. Organizing can give someone a new outlook on their space, which in turn changes the way they function. Why should every professional organizer have proper training? Professional training is important to best provide for your clients. They're hiring you and your services to maximize their organization in their space. Training will provide you with the necessary knowledge and skills to get the job done and done well. Proper training is also important for the advancement of your career. Having professional training can set you apart from other organizers and also attract more clients. Clients will be more inclined to contact you because they know that you have the skills to take over the job. Being qualified for the job is most important. Other employers can also see your profile and your resume and what's on it. They may be interested in offering you a position because of what's on your resume. If your resume is supported by professional training, that's way more appealing and your work will speak for itself. Professional organizing training can keep you up to date on industry trends and hone your design skills. Let's talk a little about QC's professional organizing course. I chose to enroll in this course because I was looking for the perfect career transition choice. With my busy schedule, QC's online platform fit perfectly into my life and I was able to get two certificates and start my own business. When my professional organizing materials and textbooks came in the mail, I was so excited to get started. It came with everything I needed, the textbooks were gorgeous, and I even got a professional portfolio notebook. The assignments were a combination of hands-on projects that I had to do in my own home and comprehensive worksheets with different scenarios and client situations. When I completed each unit, I uploaded everything, including PDFs and photos, to QC's online platform and waited for my grade. For each unit, I received personalized feedback from my tutor, who went step-by-step -step through my work to explain and discuss what I could do better. Through my courses in professional organizing and interior decorating, I received my certificates. As a advanced international organizing professional, and an international design and decorating professional. Without my QC courses, I would not have been able to start my career. I learned necessary principles and I got to do hands-on work in my own home, on my first projects, and with friends spaces. I got to lay the groundwork for starting my business, including important planning and industry research, and also starting my business model. I'd recommend this course to anyone who's looking to start their career or even to currently working professional organizers. The information in this course covers every topic, every client, every situation. This is great for everyone in the beginning, but also for current professional organizers who want to hone their skills and increase their portfolio to increase bookings. Let's move on to my top four professional organizing hacks and tips. Number one is zones and homes. So everyone's house is probably already broken down into rooms, unless you live in a studio apartment. But so this is even more important if you do live in a studio apartment. Start with a room like your bedroom, living room, or entryway. And from there, we're gonna take that space and break it down into two different steps. The first is to create zones. These are gonna be according to what activities take place there or what the room is used for. We wanna focus on what function the space serves. Let's take the entryway. You wanna create a zone for maybe hanging up your coats and taking off your shoes, but then also making a zone for dropping your wallet, your keys, or your phone. Let's take the kitchen. 
you want to create a zone for baking so all of those things are not spread out all across the kitchen let's talk about a zone for a coffee station you want to have your coffee your filters your cups all in one area think about what happens in each area and create a zone to keep things organized next is homes meaning give everything a home this is an incredible tool when it comes to organizing and especially when putting things away Within each zone, make sure everything has a home. When it's clean or you're done doing a project or you're done using it, put it away. This keeps things looking tidy and organized and also cuts down on cleaning time. This is a simple tool that an organizer can teach their client to help them maintain their space. Tip number two, one in, one out. This is a great rule, especially when it comes to the closet because it's based on overall capacity. When you buy something new and put it in your closet, take something out of your closet and either donate it or repair it or throw it away if it's beyond repair. This isn't just for closets, this goes for kitchen utensils and appliances and kids games and toys, etc. This will keep you from becoming overwhelmed with your space, things won't be overflowing or flowing out of your closet, and it will keep you living within your spatial constraints. This is a great hack for organizers because it's an easy principle to understand and teach their clients. It allows them to hold themselves accountable when you leave the room. Number three, categorize and containerize. This is another great hack when it comes to organizing and decluttering. The first big step of any organization job is categorizing things or putting like with like. This allows your client to see all of their belongings and use them more efficiently. It allows them to see if they have extras or multiples, which allows them to purge and only keep the essentials. After categorizing is containerizing. This by far is the most fun part of any organization job. Anything can be a container. Using your categories, select containers or storage systems that fit your space. Whether it's a cabinet, closet, or a drawer, you can find bins, trays, dividers, or boxes. Containerizing will do just that. Contain your items so they're not spilling out into a space. Creating a system that keeps things contained will keep your space tidy and cut down on cleaning time when you're putting things away. Finally, number four, use vertical space. This hack is always good when you are looking for extra space in those small spaces. Organization and storage systems can always be found by looking up. This usually means finding available space above cabinets, above furniture, or above a door. However, don't forget about the vertical space underneath your sink or in a bottom cabinet. You can always find stackable drawers or stackable bins that can maximize the amount of space you use. Don't forget about spaces like over the toilet that can usually go empty, but you can add a shelving or a cabinet in order to put things away. This keeps them out of sight, but also adds a decor element. Adding storage to usually wasted vertical space is a way to increase your organization. Hanging pouches on backs of doors or even hanging things from the ceiling. So again, my top four organizational hacks are zones and homes, one in, one out, categorize and containerize, and use vertical space. Thanks again for watching today. I'm Bradley Schlogheck, QC Design School graduate and student ambassador. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to QC's channel, and comment below with your own personal organizational hacks. You can connect with me on all of my social media at Bradley Ryan Home Org or on QC Design School's virtual classroom on Facebook. Thanks for watching.